What's going on? Welcome to another My NBA 2K results video. We have the King of the Court, our very first legend event, and we did make top 500. We got rank 355 with 6,500 points, and uh, even being 150, I guess, rank above that cutoff line, check out the leaderboard real quick. I mean, I wasn't even 100 points above that cutoff line, so only 94 points away, and a rank 150 um, above that cutoff line. So you know at the very end, man, there were a ton of people bunched up there. There were probably quite a few people that missed that cutoff um, at uh, 500 and I definitely feel bad for them but anyway we're gonna check out all of the draft board pulls we are gonna check out the new pull rates as legend we are gonna look at the Kevin Garnett event card and if you do enjoy the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up always let me know in the comments all of y'all good you know your good pulls and stuff like that or go to the discord that is in the description man we have a lot of fun on there play some 2v2 matches and uh, all that stuff. So if you're interested, go check out that Discord channel. But anyway, I am excited. I had an absolute monster Sunday. I wasn't originally going to plan to get that Kevin Garnett because I only spent uh, $5 during the stream. And again, thank you everybody that came out to the stream on Friday. But when Sunday came, I did not pull a single legend, really had awful draft board all the way until Sunday. And then when Sunday came, I was sitting at about rank 550 and uh, pulled my first legend and it was absolutely exciting. And I was like, you know what, I'll do one more uh, refresh, you know, spend $5, get some refreshes on uh, uh, game nights, see how it goes. And I just kept pulling legends and so um i was like yeah well i might as well go for this and get it so that's what happened and i ended up getting it and ended up pulling a bunch of legends on sunday a bunch of icons as well so first thing we are gonna get into checking out all of the draft board pulls all right, so now this time we are going to go back to, uh, I guess, how I did it before. I'm kind of curious, what do y'all think? Um, which way do you prefer? Do you want to see all of the cards? I'm definitely not going to do from Ultra Rare up because being Legend tier, Rare does not reset the draft board anymore. And Ultra Rare is what resets it. And there's an absolute ton. Like, uh, I pulled 159 Ultra Rares. So um, I'm definitely not going to show ultra rare, but from epic up, I will if uh, I guess enough people request. But in this video, we're just going to concentrate on elite and up and uh, show those. But starting off, we have the Paul George. And if you missed the stream, we did do the rookie perk. So uh, I pulled, what is that, 16 or 14 total rookie cards. Um, so we're going to check those out as well. So, But first thing card, we got a uh, Paul George Elite Foil, which is a good looking card, man. I, I still collect all these foils and stuff. We got a rare Dragon Bender Rookie Star um, and then a Chandler Parsons Rookie. Uh, the rares do not reset the draft board if you are a legend. So on, all, I pulled a ton of rare uh, rookie cards and you know just because they don't reset anymore so uh, Jamal Murray pulled a ton of dupes for the rares as well and then we got a Chris Dunn and then we got an epic prime Gordon Hayward rookie man he looks so young in this picture we got another Dragon Bender uh, another Chris Dunn rare and then Marquise Chris ultra rare rookie and then another elite card Pau Gasol Jamal Murray, rookie card. Ricky Rubio, rare rookie card. Another Jamal Murray. I think I pulled like every one of the rare rookies there was. Uh, star card, Victor Olandipo. Uh, don't have that one. Uh, Brandon Ingram, ultra rare. Zach Randolph, ultra rare. And then we got a Mike Conley, epic prime. So I only pulled two epic primes. That was the highest rookie cards that I actually pulled. 
which is I pulled more rookie cards this event than the previous two events in which we had the rookie perk. I pulled a star in one and an elite in one, but in this one I pulled the most rookie cards I have ever done. Another Chris Dunn. We got a cat uh, elite foil. I pull a ton of foil elites, which is really weird. Um, as far as the cards go, I think elite foil is the one that I pulled the most of. Camarillo Anthony elite card. We got a Rudy Gobert superstar. This was our first superstar pull. And then right after that, got the very first icon pull. Finally, we got a Chris Weber. I do not have this one, unfortunately, so I cannot pro it. It doesn't help me. Um, but hopefully I can get it. And then we got an elite Kyrie Irving. Right after that, we did pick up a DeMarcus Cousins. And I do have this one, though, so... That is good. Got the second icon of the event. This was, I think this by this time it was uh, Saturday. And so um, finally pulled some icons on Saturday. And then we got a Draymond Green Elite. Another star card, David West. Uh, of course, you got to throw in those support cards. They can't live without having support cards. Another support uh, elite card. We got Kimba Walker Elite. Uh, we have another Zach Randolph, but an Elite this time. Another Zach Randolph, but this time Foil. So that's like our third Zach Randolph. And then we got a Horace Grant. This is a really cool looking card. I, I wanted this one when back when Star was, uh, I guess, relevant. And we got a Clint Capella Foil card. I told you, man, I pull a ton of Foil Elites for some reason. And then we got another elite support card. We got a Tyreek Evans elite card. And then a Brooke Lopez elite. And then we got a Wes Unselled star card. And then right after that, another Zach Randolph. So Zach Randolph obviously um, liked my deck for some reason. Pulled like every tier of him. Every card it seemed like. Um, oh, Shoot, and then right after that, Saturday morning, man, I pulled my very first legend card, and this is an absolute beast. Gary Payton foil. I mean, this was early Sunday morning, like um, 8 o'clock in the morning when I started doing this. Very first legend pull on the draft board, Gary Payton foil. I mean, I was absolute hype when I saw this card. I wanted this. Gary Payton was the point guard I wanted when I pulled um, the record setter pack. And so I was absolutely super excited, man. This card looks so sweet. I have not seen it in the Discord. I have not seen anyone post it. So it seems pretty, you know, like it's a, you know, different card that anyone else has. And it is a foil. So. And it's a point guard, so I am absolutely so excited to finally get this. And I was like, dude, I got to pull. I got to I gotta keep, you know, drop boards hot. I got to keep going. I had a feeling, you know, it's going to be hot. So I, I kept going, kept getting them uh, uh, game night refreshes and stuff. And then after that, I pulled a Draymond Green. And then, and then after this Draymond Green, would you believe it? Would you believe it? I got my David Robinson. My David Robinson, one of the cards out of all the legends that I wanted. Um, I got the David Robinson, man. So Gary Payton, which I really love and really wanted his card. And then after that, I pulled a David Robinson center. I mean, he's a center, yeah. And I know I have a million centers. And he's since it's not a foil card, it's probably going to be like the fourth best center I have. But... Still, I don't care because I still love him and we are going to find some way to get his uh, get this card proed. So, awesome card. And this is all Sunday. So, from the Gary Payton on is all on Sunday, which, like I said, it was fire. And then after this, David Robinson, I pull a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I already have this card proed another center. But I already have it proed, so uh, I guess I could pro it again if I can find another one. So, you know, kind of unfortunate, but still an icon. And then we got a Lenny Wilkins Superstar card. Another Elite. And then we got right after that a Dwayne Wade, another legend. So at this point, I mean, I'm like three legends on Sunday. And, man, this thing was just fire. 
another sh- a shooting guard, though, and it kind of matches. I guess I already have a legend shooting guard, which was the Michael Jordan that I pulled on that freebie. Um, so that's cool. I was able to get him. And then we got a Ron Artest star. And then right after that, I pulled a legend support card. So four total legends on Sunday. And uh, so that's absolutely awesome. And then that was it for the legends. But um, the Kareem I pulled, which is an icon. And then I pulled a James Worthy icon right after that. Uh, do not have this one and can't pro it, but awesome to add it to the collection. And then right after the James Worthy, I pulled a Draymond Green, um, literally almost back to back draft boards. So four total legends, three total icons on Sunday, which is why I kept going. And I was like, well, I might as well get that top 500 since I already spent money. I might as well drop another five to get it. And so... That's what I did, and then we got a elite card to end it out. Um, so that's cool. Got the Tyreek, and then at the very end we got the Kevin Garnett in the Boston Celtics. I wish I could see him in the T Wolves. I do not know honestly. Like I wasn't, didn't really care about getting this card because, well, Kevin Garnett has a regular legend, he has a foil legend, and he has a record setter legend. So he already has three legends, and then they drop a. Uh, and he has an icon, which I already have uh, the foil prod as well. He already has the icon, and his very first event, they're going to make him the one that is a legend. I was a little disappointed with that. I thought they definitely could have made a better selection for the very first. Uh, one, but hopefully in the gauntlet they're gonna have some better ones that are don't actually have cards. I want to see some legends that do not have regular cards. So um, yeah, that's gonna do it for all of the actual draft board pulls. Now we are gonna take a look at uh, all of the pull rates for this week and pulled a ton. I mean, I finished top 500, 6,500 points, which is an absolute crap ton of points. The cutoff was so high, it was 6,400 and what was it, 6,406 I think was the cutoff. The highest it seems like I've seen in a long time. But 255 total resets, 159 ultra rare, no more rare resets, which is awesome. So each drop board I think I pulled like 6 to 10 rare and so that's a quite a bit of rare. And then 37 Epic, 28 Epic Prime, 16 Elite. We got 6 Star, only 3 Superstar, which is strange. 5 Icon and 4 Legend. So uh, 15 total rookies. Um, five or 10 of them were um, rares and then 5 of them were from Ultra Rare and Up. And then Foils were actually really good too. Pulled 29 total Foils. So that's pretty darn good. Next week, we are going to do the foiler event for the gauntlet. So y'all check out that stream. We're going to do that on Friday, like always the first two hours since we have the foiler. Hopefully pick up some good stuff. But uh, percentages, you know, this is the first one as a legend tier. So, you know, obviously these can change. But ultra rare, 62% ultra rare. 14 epic, you know, 11 epic prime, 6 elite Two star, 1.2 superstar, 2.0 icon, and then 1.6% legend. Also, I did do this weekend, I did do three 2v2s that were completely finished. And uh, the first two, I did not pull a single thing. Um, crappy star cards, only one superstar. I think I pulled uh, three. Um, stars and one superstar in the first two uh, two v2s and then the one last night late last night um, I did another 2v2 that was finished and pulled an icon regular card which was a Blake Griffin and then a icon foil for the final reward so I got two more icons didn't have either one of them so can't pro it but anyway let me know in the comments how y'all did. Go check out that Discord channel. You know, post some pictures. Uh, hook up for 2v2. I mean, that's how I got the, you know, been able to play 2v2 and finish them out is, 
you know, from people coming to the Discord. And so uh, go check that out. If you are interested, let me know in the comments how y'all did. I can't wait till the gauntlet. Hopefully it is a better reward than, um, than this one. I'm really not sure if I'm going to be able to finish an event card on the gauntlet um, at that tier since I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough Icon Pros to be able to do that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And we'll try at least in the beginning to uh, we're going to do a stream. Use that foiler alert. But that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up. I will see y'all in the next video. I am out. Peace.